All right, guys, Murphy Firearms Training here. I have got my Parker side-by-side -side percussion shotgun. This is about a 175-year-old gun. We got out of the range today shooting it. And I want to show you how to load it. If you buy, um, Petter solely sells a modern gun if you don't want to shoot an antique. Um, if you ever want to try percussion, muzzle-loading shotguns, uh, they're a lot of fun. Uh, it takes a lot of skill. There is a slight delay um, that you don't get with modern guns. So, um... You definitely have to know what you're doing and follow your bird if you want to hit it. So come in close. I want to show this little measure here. So this is an antique. Track of the Wolf sells a replica of this. Um, and you need a measure like this. And it's very, very faded. It's very hard to read on the camera. But you got a dram measure here on this side. And every little tick mark. So it starts at two and a half drams. So with the peg all the way up, that's two and a half. And if I go over... And down one, that's two and three quarter drams. And if I go here, that's three drams. And so, and this goes down all the way to like five drams, which is a very, very heavy load. And I will not shoot. This is a three dram load. It's your standard bottom shelf cheap Walmart stuff for a 12 gauge. It's three drams, a very light load. This is a weirdo. It's an 11 gauge shotgun. So it's not a 12, it's not a 10, it's an 11 gauge. Um, and back in the day, they had 9s, 10s, 11s, 12s, 13s, 14s. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you how to load this. And, and you got two schools of thought. One school of thought is you put a dowel rod in one side, and you do everything to this side. And then you pull the dowel rod out, put it in this side, and do everything to the other side. The way I do it is I actually load everything in both barrels. And I always go from where I'm standing right to left. Because that's the way a shotgun goes off, is right to left. Front trigger pulls the right barrel. Uh, left trigger does the left barrel and so i'll do powder powder nitro card nitro card and i'll show you all that so i've actually got my powder horn here i actually do this the old-fashioned way and just pour the powder right out of a horn this is 2f real black powder level and i'll pour it into the barrel and i don't know if you want to get any close-ups of this and i always do the right barrel and then i do the left barrel okay always always right left close my powder and this is the one thing that you can screw up with a shotgun is the powder charge because you can double charge a barrel um, and a double charge could blow this gun up uh, like I said it's 175 years old um, second and you can see I just use old medicine bottles I use whatever I can find is a nitro card it's a thick uh, almost waterproof card and you kind of put it in at an angle okay so you kind of put it in on the edge at an angle and the ramrod will flattened out. And the cool thing about this gun is this is the original ramrod and that is so very rare on an antique gun. Um, pardon the wind, we're of course out in the field shooting clays today. So we got our nitro cards, we ram those down right, first, left, second. Get those down good and firm. Next, you're going to put a cushion wad so that your shot doesn't deform. And these are just felt wads, okay? And you want to lubricate these because they're half an inch tall. They don't go down well if they're not lubed. And by lubricating them, you are actually softening the powder fallon from the previous shot. And so this is um, this is mink oil. If you watch any of my muzzle loading videos, I get everything from Track of the Wolf because they are like the muzzle loading gurus. So right first. And I just roll these in mink oil. Some guys use boar butter, which is a, a Thompson Center product. It's yellow. Some people use Crisco. Some people soak them in cooking oil. Doesn't really matter. I do not use cooking oil. I don't recommend cooking oil because if you're out here and you're, you're messing with these, that cooking oil can actually soak through your nitro card and get your powder wet. Now you got a mess. Okay, so I like to use a solid lubricant. And that can be, like I said, Crisco, boar butter, mink oil, um... I mean, I guess technically you could just use like bearing grease or... But you want something that just lubes that thing to go down, makes it a whole lot easier to go down. And uh, of all the things to forget from my muzzle loading kit today, I forgot my towel. So you get this little residue here from that mink oil. And normally I wipe it off with a towel, but I'm wiping it off with my gun sock. So, cool. So right now, this is a blank. If you wanted to just shoot a blank, this is a blank. This would, this would make a boom... Uh, and nothing would come out. Now, we need our shot, okay? So, 
seven and a half bird shot and the way you load a shotgun is you use equal parts powder and shot so whatever you had this set for for your powder it's what it's set for for your shot and you just pour it in okay right barrel first left barrel second okay and I always close that because I have spilled my bird shot at the range that is not a good day and then the last thing is these little guys overshot cards if you're stupid we've all done it and you for some reason leave your overshot cards out of your bag you can use nitro cards but they're more expensive thin little disc and again I kind of sort of knife edge it into the barrel and then turn it take the ramrod and these are fun because now that you've run that mink oil down the barrel a lot of times they'll suction so you get this fun little bounce back with the rod. I don't know if y'all heard that or not on the camera, but you'll see it push back. Okay? It's this little push back. And the idea is just to apply steady pressure till you get all the way to the bottom. Okay? But you do get this fun bounce back if you go too fast. So, I don't know. It's kind of fun. See the bounce back? So, and that's just it. it it's got a vacuum because of that... Um, mink oil or that that lubricant now this gun's loaded it's ready to go uh almost and the overshot cards there so that if you point it down your shot doesn't dribble out okay keeps your shot in there and together now the only thing left to do to shoot it is to pull the hammers back and put a cap on each nipple and you'll do that when you're standing at the line ready to shoot so when you're standing at the line ready to shoot and do not if you dry fire this if you pull this back and you pull the trigger and snap it on that nipple, it'll mushroom and the cap will not go on correctly. Okay, so be very careful not to dry fire it. Um, if you do dry fire it and you screw up your nipple, you can take a file and file it down. But that's how you load uh, a muzzle-loading shotgun, step by step by step. So I hope that helps someone. I always put the ramrod back in before I shoot it. And we're going to go try and bust the clay with it see what we can do. So anyway, that's our video. Just want to show you how to load this thing. If you're ever interested in a muzzle-loading shotgun, that's all there is to it. And all these supplies are available online. Like I said, I buy them at Track of the Wolf. And, um, you know, come out and have a good time. Takes a while to load it, but it's a lot of fun when you hit something with it. So if you have questions, leave them in the comments.